pictured on the screen is Todd Peterson. Todd Peterson is one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the last 20 years in the state of Utah, uh, let alone the United States. Todd, like a lot of people probably here and throughout our county, went out and did what a lot of people do in the summer. Todd was selling pest control with a couple of buddies and had a lot of success. But Todd had dreams to become a millionaire, an entrepreneur. And so in 1999, Todd and one of his close friends started what was then called APX Alarms, which is now Vivint, um, which has become one of the biggest smart home providers in the United States. Todd transformed his dreams from just a summer salesman into an entrepreneur um, using a specific financial method. To show the success of Vivint recently, um, this is a report in December, but as of last week, NRG, which is one of the biggest HVAC energy companies in the United States, uh, acquired Vivint for over $2.8 billion, which raised our stock um, up 33%. My name is Trevor, I'm a sales representative with Vivint, and so I have a little bit of an inner workings, I know the inner workings of the company. How they create revenue, how they gain customers, and how they've gained so much success in the last 20 years. The way they're able to create such a good value proposition is through 0% financing, which allows a customer to buy three to four thousand dollars of equipment, zero dollars down, at zero percent interest. The only catch is not everyone qualifies. The way you qualify is simple, with a good credit score. Today, I'll talk about why credit scores are important and how it can do so much more than just get you an alarm system and how it can give you financial success in America. Credit is important. Why is credit, are credit scores important? Credit requires education. Pretty simply, credit scores measure the riskiness or the stability of a consumer to a potential lender. And so the better a consumer is at paying their bills, at staying on top of their debt, the less risky they are to potential lender, say a credit card, a car note, a mortgage with a bank, etc. And so someone who's low risk pays their bills on time. They have a low debt to income ratio. They generally have less debt than their credit limits. And a creditor, a loan applicator, is more likely to give them a loan at a lower percent interest. Someone who's medium risk probably has had a couple of oopsies. They've probably missed a couple of payments. They might have a little bit of debt, but they're still pretty likely to get a loan or to get a credit card just with the expense of higher interest and probably the bank would be willing to give them less money. Someone who's considered high risk has made a lot of financial mistakes. Probably is in a lot of debt and has missed a lot of payments. These people are highly unlikely to receive a new credit card or a new loan and even if they are, they're going to be paying it at the expense of high interest and they won't be able to borrow much from, say, a bank. FICO is the company um, that records these credit scores, the, most, the biggest one in the United States, and they report to the credit bureau. So there's a couple of financial metrics that FICO measures to calculate a credit score. The number one thing, 35% of your credit score comes from your payment history. It's as simple as it sounds. You pay your bills on time. That's it. If you've always paid your credit card bill on time, if you've never missed a payment, to a lender, that means you're good with your money. Your score will go up and reflect that. On the other hand, if you've missed a payment, if you're paying the minimum balance every single month, to a potential lender that says he or she isn't very good with their money, and your score will go down and reflect that. So 35%, that's by far the biggest portion of your credit history. Behind that, amount owed, and that's measuring amount of debt you have to what you're allowed to borrow. So to calculate that, let's say you have $5,000 borrowed um, from a bank. If you're only borrowing 500 bucks, that's 10%, that looks really good, your score goes up. If you're borrowing 4,800 of that 5,000, you're back to the wall. It looks bad, your score goes down. A couple other things, new credit, if you're opening a lot of loans at the same time, it looks risky to, to a bank or to a lender. And so that will cause your score to go down. Length of credit history, generally the longer you've had credit, the more stable you look. If you just got it within the last year, you don't have enough history to really establish credibility quite yet. The last thing is credit mix. 
it's just good if you have, like say a home mortgage, a car note, a uh, credit card, if you're able to balance a couple different kinds of financial accounts, it looks good on a credit report and vice versa. So how do you build a credit score? Credit requires preparation. And so you can't just walk in and apply for a house and accept or expect that you're just gonna get approved. You have to start small because you start with no credit score at all. A super simple way, what I did, you can go into your bank or you can go to say Discover and apply for a student credit card. They're usually you know, pretty low credit limit, 500 or $1,000. But with that, as long as you're making your payments on time, within six months you can usually build credit and actually it takes about six months to, to get a credit score. And so this is what FICO, the metric they use to measure credit. If you're anywhere in that red, zero, like 300 to 580, it's very hard to get approved for any kind of loan. If you do, it's gonna be very high interest. And the yellow, usually 580 to 670, like Vivint has a couple options for people like this, but you're gonna be paying more interest and you're not gonna be able to borrow as much. 700 and above, you can usually get really good interest rates and borrow a lot more. So the higher it goes, the better deal you're gonna get when you go to lend. So why is credit crucial? Credit creates freedom. Picture this, you and your spouse are going in, you found the house of your dreams, has everything, it has the pool, but you apply for it and you get declined. I don't think anyone's ever liked that feeling and everyone's gonna be wishing they had learned more and prepared more financially. And so it's important that you start, it's kind of like steps. You start with the credit card, you can build your credit score and you have more freedom. You can say take a car note out. After that, you might have enough credit history to get approved for a mortgage. If you go back to Todd Peterson, if you want to start a new business, that requires credit too if you want a small business loan. And so, not, not saying that you have to have credit to do anything financially, obviously you don't want to go into debt, but if you want financial freedom, if you want to be able to grow, then credit is absolutely crucial in that process. Sum everything up, why is credit important? Credit requ um, requires education, credit requires preparation, um, credit creates freedom, so credit is important.